Hey there, so I am over at the house at 1973 Shadow Lake Drive. This is the street view from the home. Um, this is a small little community um, in the Midway area. The address is Gulf Breeze, but locals call it Midway. Um, got sidewalks, underground utilities, all the homes. Most, for the most part, are the patio style homes. Um, usually very well kept. There is a small playground down toward the end of the community. Um, this is the front of the house. You've got the brick front, two-car garage. Um, this is a three-tab roof, so that would probably be something we would need to consider uh, in case you do decide to make an offer. The driveway does slope a little bit from the road, so the owners uh, have put in a French drain to help combat some of that water so it doesn't go into the garage. It's not a big slope, but just enough to where the water will flow down towards uh, the house a little bit. So those French drains are really nice to have uh, to keep that water away from the home. As you can see, it's really quiet back here. So this is the entrance. So you're in the foyer as we walk in. You've got some tile in the foyer and then this is laminate flooring in the living area. It's nice and open. I can actually say I've actually never been in this particular floor plan, so it's kind of interesting. You've got this nice big open area. This would be uh, your dining room, and then the kitchen, which has granite and a nice backsplash, opens up into, um, into that area. Over here, we have the master bedroom, I believe is what this is. Yes, it is. Master bedroom. You've got double doors leading into the master bath. Double vanity um, with marble sinks. Stand up shower. There's the toilet. And back here is the closet. So it is pretty large in size and it goes back goes back that way. So a lot of really nice space back here. There's your soaker tub. And then there is linen closet here. The house smell, I will say this, the house smells really clean, which is nice. Sometimes when these houses are vacant, they kind of get that musty smell, but this one smells like it's been cleaned and upkept, which is nice. So back through here, um, we have the additional bedrooms. Um, we've got this front one right here. It has a nice large window. This carpet looks fairly new or well taken care of if it isn't new. Here is the additional bath. You have a linen closet, sink. Tub shower combo. And then the other front bedroom. Also, nice big picture window. These closets have double doors. So they're not walk-ins, but they have good, good size in them. This home has definitely been well taken care of. I can you can definitely tell that. So in here in the kitchen, nice counter space, nice cabinets. You got cabinetry over the top. Over here, you got your stainless appliances. You got a nice little pantry right here. And through this door is your laundry area. And then out through here is the garage. Oops. The owners have an alarm system in the house, so that's the noise you hear in the background. So it's just your standard two-car garage. I really love this open concept that they have where the kitchen's like kind of separated, but it still is nice and open. So if you have guests over, you've got that space.
So let's go check out the backyard. These lots are a little bit smaller, um, but it looks like they've made really good use of the space. They've built a little deck off the patio with a pergola over the top. There are um, There's a gutter system around the home, which is nice. The lot size, um, I think these are just under a quarter acre, um, and it's fenced in, as you can see. But it's really quiet back here. I love this deck really nice space so the front of the home is brick and then the sides and back are vinyl siding all right we'll go check out the neighborhood now